Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, if you're new to my channel, well, then just welcome. Um, so a few days ago, uh, I talked to my manager at Walmart and uh, tried to bargain with her to get a whole bunch of these succulent plants that were dying uh, for cheaper than what they were marked. They were already marked down to um, 50 cents. Nobody was buying them. There was like 52 left. So I talked to my manager and I was like, look, can I get these for a quarter and I'll buy all 52 plants. And so she let me do that. So I got a really good deal on these little guys and gals. I don't know. But um, so I'm trying to get them all planted into creative little planters using mainly things that I have around the house or that I could get for cheap. Uh, things I might find in the yard or out in the woods. But uh, today... I'm doing something that's a little bit more, I don't know, I don't want to say complicated because it's not really complicated, but you do need some power tools and a hammer and a nail if you're going to try to do this. But anyway, enough rambling. So I had plywood and I had some one by fours that were old uh, from a project that was like years old and I tore apart. So I just am reusing that and I built this little box, put some drainage holes in the bottom and then I used some rope twine and hot glued that around the bottom. You can see on this side the holes that were there from the nails that were originally in there. I'm just leaving those. Uh, I could have filled them in with wood glue or I mean wood filler. I decided not to do that. The holes are no big deal. But I did go ahead and drill some smaller holes at the top because I want to try to run some LED lights around the inside. That's the plan anyway. I want to make this like a little gnome type thing and get as many succulents in here as I can because they've been in these little tiny containers for way too long. So let's just see what we can do with this and hopefully this turns out the way I have it in my head. So I got this from Dollar General a few days ago. Uh, half price so it ended up costing me two dollars and fifty cents. I got to get new batteries for it. It lights up but I'll get new batteries for that today. And next to that, I want a one of these taller succulents. Let's just try to get these in there, as many as we can without overcrowding them. Whenever you're working with these and you're pulling them out of their pots, you want to just very gently try to break up that root system at the bottom because they get compacted in there. So, but very gently because these things are pretty fragile. And then you want to just pack that soil in there good. You want them seeded real well in that soil. Alright. Next to that, let's put the smaller one. I had more gnome things that I got from Dollar Tree a while back. I had like a crap load of gnome things. I can't find them now. All I could find was a couple things. So, I'm sure someday I'll come across them. <laughs> they're, they're in a box somewhere, I'm sure. Okay, let's do that. I picked this up, I don't know, last year I think it was. But, uh, and I painted it. This was from the Dollar Tree. You can spray paint this, uh, paint it with acrylics, whatever. Uh, paint takes really well to those little ceramic mushroom things. Put that there. <whistles> then I got this. That was Dollar Tree. <coughs> kind of want these little dudes. Maybe about like right there. All right, I might have to move them as I put plants in, but I just kind of wanted to see where I wanted to put them. Let's go. Oh. 
that booger on into there. Okay, oh, that looks so cute already. see I like these little ones that look like palm trees so let's throw one or two in there I don't want to put them too close to the the frame of the box itself because I want the roots to be able to spread out wherever they want to go and I'm going to try to run those LED lights through there here in a minute. Okay, Pressing on. this little one because it's got that little dead stem there but these little buds are coming in good so I want to try to get that in there somewhere <clears throat> maybe well maybe maybe not give those little buds a chance to grow Now while I'm doing this, I will say a little bit about the care of succulents. <clears throat> In other videos, I've talked about misting them. Um, and I don't actually miss the plant itself. I miss the soil really good. So it gets a good amount of water, but it doesn't get overwatered. You don't want to drown those roots, especially on these little younger plants. Also, succulents like about six hours of sunlight a day but when they're young and fragile like this you want to kind of start off with shorter periods of time in the direct sunlight and then as they get a little bit older and a little bit bigger then you can do that six hours also if you're going to have these inside and you want to put them on a windowsill or something like that you want to make sure that you have a blind or something down um, to where they're getting a little bit of sunlight through it but not not real harsh on them because it will fry them so there's that. I might be able to fit one or two more in here. You want to water these guys when the top inch and a quarter is dry. And you want to water them enough to where you see the water come out the drainage holes at the bottom. And then they should be good for a day or two. And you know what, let's just put that one down there. It's probably going to be all I'm going to be able to fit in here because I don't want it to be too overcrowded. I do have a couple other little things I want to put in here. Just to make it look cute. And then we'll try running those lights. And we're going to see if we can get that to work. Alright, that's pretty good. We got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven succulents in there so that's pretty good um i think i think now let's try doing the lights and then i'll go back and put the rest of the stuff in i think i want to put in there so i got these from walmart a while back they're less than three dollars i can't remember exactly how much it does require three double a batteries in there so i want to start at the back so let's turn this around And until I figure out how I want my battery pack to go, I might put it, I wonder if I could just tuck that down back there. 
Oh, let's see if I can tuck that back down there. Oh yeah, that'll work. I'll just pull that out when I need to change out batteries. I got the on off switch there so I can get to that pretty easy. And that should be hidden behind that little house looking thing. So I'm just going to run these through these holes that I drilled. Let us go. I'll see if I can get a hold of that. I hope this works because I would really like this to be lit up. Let's run that through. <clears throat> Let's put it through the other hole. Crap, I hope I drilled that one big enough. Get in there. Yeah. It should work pretty good, I think. We think. We don't know. I get things in my head and I think, oh, that's a fantastic idea. That's going to look so cute. And then maybe 50% of the time it doesn't work out the way I had it in my head. <laughs> maybe that ain't going to work. Okay. We'll just, we'll just plan on that being back there somewhere. Ain't nobody going to see the back. We don't think. Put that right there. Okay. Oh, shoot. We don't think. Alright. Now on this side here, I think I want to try to tuck that down and run it through the front. Oh, let's turn it around. So let's bring this down to this hole I got. Oh shoot, did I not drill a hole there? I didn't drill a hole there. It's all right. Let us feed it through there. If this ends up looking like crap, I'll just do something else. Let's tuck that down into there, I think. I don't want that to be too visible. Okay. So far, so good. <laughs> we, we think anyway. We don't know if this is going to work the way I want it to work. It's kind of got... I don't want that light up there. Shoot, Shinola. So let's do... Let's get that light there. Just kind of I'm just going to kind of tuck that back down into there. Nobody should be looking that hard at this thing anyway. Tuck that down into there. All right. Pressing on. We will make this work somehow, some way. This is really fun to do. Very relaxing. For the most part. That's only because it's so far working out halfway decent. So far, I say, as I try to get that down in there, I just don't want that to be too noticeable. All right. It's all right if you can see a little bit of it. And I think... Oh, sh shoot. <laughs> I've really got to try to get that down in there better without breaking it. <clears throat> all right. Then, now that we're at the back where the battery's at, I think what I'm going to do, I think on that, let's just wrap that around. You know what we're going to do, because that's going to be lit up when I get the new batteries. I think on this, we're going to end this right here. We're going to wrap this up underneath this mushroom. <laughs> We're going to try. Right, 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 right. That should stay because that wire holds, bends in place pretty good. <laughs> Damn. Okay, that's all right. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do this. And then we're just going to just shove that down into there. All right, pretty good. Pretty good, I'll take it. It'll be all right. 
Get down there, damn little light. There, stay. All right. Okay. Here's what we got so far. I like it. I think that looks cute though. So I do have some rocks and stuff I want to put in there. I have some other stuff like these little fake uh, boxwood plants. Hey, get away from Dean. I'm fostering a friend's dog till they get moved and his name is Dean. I don't know if you can see him. He just walked by. He was in some bad shape. So we're getting him into better shape and then he should go back to his family and next month. It was supposed to be been September, but now it's looking like it's going to be a little later. But he has lupus and he was skinny, but we're putting the weight on him and got his hair cut and all that good stuff. But my dogs like to harass him a little bit. Cute. Um, got these a couple years back for Christmas on clearance. So I'm going to go ahead and cut some of those, put those in. I think these will look really whimsical and cute. We think. Because they're gnomes. Gnomes are whimsical. Eh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Let's tuck that back there. Better. And we're just going to press on, adding some stuff to it. We're going to make it look gnomey and whimsical and a little bit rustic. <laughs> uh, no, that's too much there. <laughs> Where do I want to put this? You know what? Let's just... Nah, that looks like crap. Okay, good enough. I'll take it. We'll take that one. Maybe that one can go up front there a little bit. And a little pine cone somewhere. Maybe down there. Ah, cuto! I like that. Okay, that's enough of that crap going into there, I think. Ooh. Ooh, hang on, I got a white one. I found this on the floor at Walmart. <laughs> the janitor was sweeping, and I was like, oh, hey, I can use that for something someday. Dino, honey, you gotta move. Dean, don't, I know, I love you too. He's our little foster boy. And I, I love you, but you're going to have to move. Going to have to move, Dino. I'm doing some stuff. I know. You're a good boy. He's the best boy we have, and he's not even ours. Let's see if I can show you him. <laughs> can you see him? Come here, Dino. That's Dino. He's a great Pyrenees. He is the best boy we have, and he's not even ours. <laughs> oh, no, Dean, honey. you got to go. Ah, ah, okay, just lay down right there. He's a good boy. Yeah, you are. You're a good boy. Now leave me the hell alone. <laughs> no, Dean. Dean. I'm trying to do this. I got these. I don't know. I found them in the woods, actually, when I was out doing a little trek. So we're just going to drop those down in wherever just to make it look cute. Uh, yeah, well, I'll put that right there. It'll be fine. All right, so I have some rocks I'd like to use, some little rocks. Where do I want to put that? You know what? Let's kind of hold that place back there. That will help to hold that wire, too. Yes, Dean, you're a good boy. You are a good boy. God, i got to take off my sweatshirt. Now it's getting hot. It's the time of the year here in Arkansas where you wake up and you're freezing and you got sweats on and then you got to start peeling off clothes because it's getting hot. All right, let's get let's get this little projecto finished up because Dean's kind of bugging me. I want to put some little 
I don't know, wood things I found in the yard. Use whatever you can find around instead of buying a bunch of stuff. And this will not get dislodged because like I said, I, I'm going to mist this rather than just dumping a crap load of water in there. Dean, quit. Dude. That's going to be our little walkway to the seesaw. Yes, Dean. You're... Oh, shoot. Ow. Dean. I love you, honey, but you got to get the hell out of my way. Dean. Oh. Maybe I lied when I said you were a good boy. I lied when I said you were a good boy. No, I didn't. You are a good boy. Better than my dogs. That's for certain. Okay, there's our little walkway. Oh, cute. Okay, I think that's that's probably all I really want to do. Maybe drop these little berries down in there somewhere. I found those. Probably same. Probably, probably with the trash that that little white piece was. All right, yeah, let's, let's just tuck that back there. I don't want to cover up the lights in the back, though. There. All right, there's our little gnome planter. Uh, I think what I want to do is I got these from Walmart down the clearance aisle. They were marked $1.50. I price-checked them. Uh, there's an app you can download on your phone, and you can check the prices of things. And this actually came up $0.75. Cents. So I bought a few packs of those, little sticky stars. What I'm going to do with those is, Dean, quit. I think, do I want to cover up the nails or do I want to cover up the holes? I'm going to leave the holes. I'm not real worried about those holes back there. So let's use these sticky stars maybe to put on the front to cover up those nails. And we're, ah, oh. <laughs> I'm going to get a rock over here. Hold my paper down. And then we'll finish this little project up. Get some of that excess off of there. I think that's going to look super cute. Dean. I love you too, but dude, you don't have to be all up my butt today. No, you do not. Oh no, you're a good boy, but you don't have to be up my butt. These are stickers, so they do have the you know the sticky part on the back, but oftentimes that sticky part is not super super sticky. So I'm just adding a little little dot of hot glue to that, just to make sure that stays good. Now we're gonna cover up those nails pretty decently, and then I think we're going to call that done. Because I like this. It's super cute. Really, really cheap to do. The whole thing cost me less than $7, including this little piece of rope. So, there we have it. Looks super cute. And, uh, Thank you guys for hanging out with me on this Saturday, and y'all have a good day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.